All right, my name is Nadine. I am born and raised in the Twin Cities. I love Prince. I got purple hair. Um, my Prince story. I actually fell in love with Prince because of Purple Rain, um, and I've met Prince. Prince and my brother are actually good friends, or, and um, I met him at my brother's house for the first time. And he was super polite, super kind, had platform, flip flops on, and I was like starstruck, but still trying to keep my cool. And I love his music. I walked down the aisle to adore. It's my favorite Prince song. So yeah, I'm a diehard Prince fan. That's fantastic. I used to get hyped up on Purple Rain, uh, the song, you know, before, um, uh, you know, as a kid, like, you know, second, third grade, I popped up for a baseball game, t-ball game, maybe, and um, if, in Minnesota, if you were on the back of the bus, or, you know, you're chatting about if, who do you like, Prince or Michael Jackson, because they were contemporaries, if you said Michael Jackson in North Minneapolis, you're gonna get your ass kicked, because uh, we're, we're, we're the land of Prince, and this, this is where we're from, and so, um, it's a probably unique to us in Minneapolis that Michael Jackson wasn't bigger than Prince, but Prince was bigger than Michael Jackson. Here, no doubt about it. Awesome. What up guys, my name is Lil Gangsta, also known as Austin Douglas. I became a Prince fan back in 2004 during musicology. I started really getting into it around uh, artificial age and hitting and run phase one. Uh, a memory that I've had with Prince is uh, I met him once and uh, when I met him, he was coming up on stage uh, during the October surprise and I, he had caught me off guard because my ex-girlfriend had grabbed me from behind and put me face to face in front of him. And so he's just staring at me, right? We have this staring contest. And then next thing I know, next thing I know is that he rolls his eyes at me and gets up on stage, right? And just leaves me there in shock. And so I'm sitting there like, dude, for real? That's how you do me? A fellow Minneapolis musician? You just leave me hanging here, bro. But you know, Prince is the man. He's the king of Minneapolis. He's gonna always reign over the city. So, you know, I just wanted to let that be known. Alright, guys. coloring book, a tribute to his musical genius, and um, I was introduced to Prince by a mentor of mine that was uh, teaching me how to play the guitar a um, long time ago, got my first Prince album by my mentor, it was the second album that Prince released, and um, ever since I had that album in my hand, I've been a fan, 
I recently published this coloring book as a tribute to him this year. Um, if you're interested in purchasing, purchasing this, it's available on Amazon, it's Google, or search Andrea Hollisworth. And also a, a portion of these proceeds is actually going to C2I, Connections to Independence. So they provide mentorship to youth who are aging out of foster care. And they're here in Minneapolis. So I'm setting aside a portion of the proceeds that I received from the book to support that organization. Um, and they're here in Minneapolis and they support youth aging out of foster care and uh, as they transition to becoming adults and learning those independent skills and, and just, you know, getting those tools and they need to be successful as, as adults. So um, that's that. I'm here in Minneapolis. I live here now, originally from Arizona. I've been here for about six years and I've been a Prince fan for a long time. Fantastic. Go ahead. Hey, this is Mike from Miami. I came here just to see the MPG show and to see the art exhibit. Um, as a kid, my sister was older and loved Prince, and I kind of like liked him. And then later in life, I heard the Get Off single on the radio, and I was like, what's that? Like, Prince, he's still alive? And once I bought that album, I fell head over heels, and have been the same since. So, uh, five hours later, I'm in Minneapolis, watching a really cool art exhibit, meeting some nice people. Cool. Good, yeah. Um, it was about October 18th, 1999, on a Monday night. I got a last minute email from an AOL email uh, account that I once had. My friend that was uh, across the hall in the uptown apartment of mine uh, knocked on my door and said, Let's simply, it said in the email, get dressed and get out to the park. We got out there, we pulled into the parking lot. There was about five cars in the entire lot, and uh, we decided just to you know, walk in. Security was lax. Uh, we looked around, Kurt Loader from MTV News actually greeted us in the bathroom and uh, we asked him what was going on and he simply said that he's going to go interview him and that he's going to play for y'all and so we asked for who and there was about only 10 people in the, in the entire building that were fans so when we actually went into the big room that fit almost nearly 2,000 people uh, we had the entire room to ourselves. Um, he ended up actually going on and playing for about 90 minutes, but at about three different times of the night, he would actually get off stage, which I asked him later too, and I motioned why he was actually watching his band. He would jump off and jump between us, get back on the stage, and grab the guitar and just not miss a beat, and uh, jump in with the MPG, played everything from James Brown to a couple of Sign of the Family Stone covers. It was back in the days when Larry Graham and his actually his wife Tina was on the edge of the stage, and uh, we got to chat with all of the band members that night. But what made it special is that when we walked off, there was only two other people talking to Prince the entire night, and uh, we, my friend Scott and I, from uh, by way of Milwaukee, we decided to actually go over and see if we could actually greet him. And, and thank him for the night that he gave us for 10 people. We had uh, one of the best nights of our life for a private concert and with eight well-dressed ladies to our right and me and my friend Scott. And um, just to shake his hand, and I simply leaned in, I said, thanks for the invite, bringing us to your house. And he said, this is all I needed to hear. He said, you're welcome. And he looked down, looked up, I saw the light of his eyes. And I gave him a little nod, walked off with the night. And that entire night with my friend Scott, after he even met him too, we looked at each other and said, that really happened. We had a private show, 10 people. It was free, last minute, Monday night, before the millennium happened. And we got to see magic happen. Guitar, dancing, 
cover of James Brown, Side of the Family Stone, um, and all of this magic created for all, just, just kind of us. And so it was one of the best nights of my life to know that I could walk away and shake his hand and thank him personally for the night that he gave us uh, for you know the best couple hours of my life. Thank you to you, those of you who actually watched the end of the video things here. On that side are links to Patreon and to the subscribe. And below me is the latest video that we've done as well as one that's picked special for you because you're a special, special, 